Hello, and welcome to episode... Episode 2, part 1 of our Life is Strange 2 playthrough. I wanted to strike while the iron was hot, so to speak. Um, so, while I may not finish this episode today... Um, I mean, I'm certainly not finishing it this part of this episode. But, um, maybe, maybe this will be a couple of recording sessions, you know? I, uh... There's something about... There is something about the way that they're kind of locked into um, these half-minute chunks that I put them in. Half-minute? Half-hour chunks I put them in. That um, makes it feel a little bit more bite-sized to me, personally. I'm like, oh, you're right, I can stop here. And like, while I didn't actually stop the game running, um, I could. Like, the game auto-saves, and it's it's made to be able to do that, so... <laughs> it split this two-and-a-half-hour episode into... A half hours works for me so I, I really like this format um, and you can see I'm a little bit brighter here I um, and I'm not or rather I'm just as bright maybe no I actually think I'm brighter um, I bought a new light for my lamp a new color light so now my whole room is this color on uh, this like cyberpunk kind of thing I got going on so that's fun um, yeah so we're just gonna get started I think uh, Game experience is enhanced playing it before episode two, and it's free. Uh, I, I, yeah, no. I appreciate what it's got going, but I'm not really personally. That game sounds harsh in its own way, um, which is, you know, one of those things where it might be fun, but I just personally am just like not really. I'm here for this part, so maybe I'll play it later and be like, oh, that would have been cool uh, if I'm looking for more Life is Strange, but. For now, we're just gonna exist, <laughs> as it were. That's cute. There's a lot of nice little touches in that that I really liked, um, just art-wise. Um, yeah, so that was... Okay. Choose wisely. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna do my best. Um, we didn't steal, we didn't do anything untoward. Oh. Okay. They're practicing it right now? Oh, that's the start. Cool. 
I thought this was gonna be um slowly yeah I thought that was gonna be like in the middle of the episode kind of thing I'm so glad it's not I love this kind of stuff training some powers is like one of my favorite things hold LT Um. Not your usual shooting range, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. Wow, his control is getting so much better. I love that they're just like getting along with this. This is like really sweet. <clears throat> like How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday and the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just one more time. Interesting. I can feel it. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I mean, he. I think he can do it. I mean, he's like thrown own stuff like that's been big right oh shit He didn't grunt when he put it down, which suggests it's not a channeling thing so much as a an activation thing. So, that's just the start. Let's try something else. What is what He said try it. Okay, I'm not gonna hit you though. I'm just my throwing strength. Ready? Wait, what? Didn't didn't it hit the ground? Um That's just normal sickness? A little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. <clears throat> Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteen before we head back. Oh. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. Where do you want me to fill up the canteens? And outside for a while. Oh. Gotcha. Here we go. 
takers over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger DX. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. Yes, good. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. It's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I <laughs> We're not gonna we're not gonna go over my parenting schemes here, right? This is like a you know. It's fine. If a bear could catch a rabbit. I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> I don't know if I could got an animal anyway. That's fair. Look at Mushroom. She's so cute. You're so cute. Oh, yeah. It's probably. But they left all their stuff behind. I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida. Only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. I kind of like it here. It's way cooler than that crappy town where the shelter was. It just. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with his two-headed snow ogre. Yeah. They're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? <laughs> Wonder who did the voice work for that puppy. Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Did you want to? Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Cool. Let's go inside, Anano. Let's get you inside. I forgot to turn my headphones down. It's just going to be how this one is. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. Nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. Shut up. Be nice. And the final rule? I know. Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. <sighs> Damn. I... He's right. Here's the thing. Is this gonna... It's not gonna go for me, right? Okay. Here's the thing. He's kind of right. Sorry, I hit the mic there. It's like the whole thing about why am I training these powers if it's not for this? I fully get that. And if I tell him no, I feel like he's a willful enough child that he'll do it anyway. And... I want to see the kinds of situations he gets in because of it. Like, at the end of the day... It's one of those things, right? It's one of those things where at the end of the day, yes, you can stay safe. You can stay pragmatic. You can stay hidden. Keep it hidden. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. You can do that. But it's it's one of those things where it's like, what's it for? What is a boat for if it never leaves the shore? What is, you know... Why are you keeping this if you're not going to use it? It's the whole thing of hoarding and the whole thing of hoarding wealth and that kind of thing. It's like a, the best, most ethical way to do to have it is to use the excess, and not just save it up. Save up what you need, use the rest. Be as safe as you can, but if it comes down to it, use it. So we're going with we're going with last resort. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping. Oh wow, both of these are neither of your fault. Um I shouldn't have left you alone. It's out of your control. I shouldn't have left you alone. Damn. Um man, hard decisions off the bat here. Let's see. It was out of his control. But to say that to someone, to say you couldn't have done anything sometimes is the, the bad option. Especially for someone who's trying to find some kind of power in order to be stronger in the world in a place where his father was just taken from him. So, um, I think shouldn't have left you alone might be the one I'm looking at. Um, yeah, I think... Excuse me. Yeah, I think that might be the one. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But... I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because you couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. Oh, what a good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. Then let's grow back. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> Mushroom's kitchen. Wait, I wanna see Mushroom's kitchen. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Comics. <gasps> Each. for today's training, puppy. Sit. Shroom, sit. Shroom. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom. Sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this. Traitor. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, this is a chalkboard. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. <clears throat> Sorry, let me adjust my seat here. Let's see. That's good. That's really good. He's doing so good, and I'm like so proud of him. We scored these clothes. Plus five street cred. <laughs> you nerd. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Dad and Maggie and John, Agathy Falls. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Hi, Dad. Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there's a lot of sun here, and it burns. I love it. Tom knows everybody, and I keep waiting to meet Scarface. We're at his friend's killer condo with a beach view and a balcony. I feel so spoiled, but I know John is at a castle in the Alps, so I don't feel so bad. Plus, I really like it here. What a great way to start a new century. I miss our vacation at the Secret Lodge, but I don't miss the raccoons in my room. Hope you can come visit soon after summer. Love you, Maggie. Daddy Hill. <laughs> That's cute. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Wish I had more good tobacco. a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but it helps staying warm. <laughs> but oof. Damn, okay. Oh boy. Hey son, I hope you'll work wonders with the new sketchbook. I'm sure you will. Let us, if you're not too lazy, get to it. Uh, I remember your first drawing was of me. Now can you be a skillful portrait of you? Alright, I'll leave the art to you and go back to my engines. Feliz cumpleaños, 16 for 2016. Love you. Love, love you. Your papi. Oops. Labor fucking day. Chef Diaz breaks out the final grill of summer. La fashion. Baseballs for losers. Hi, Dad. We can see you. Hmm. Coyote and iguana of approval. I'm not a pizza. Spacey Stacy. These are so fun. Thank God for light lighters. <laughs> oh, you asterisk out God. Interesting. There's Jen. Wow, it's a little, little over creepy, but like in the way that high schoolers are. All the other oxen free, motherfuckers. That's fun. Buy new wheels. Uh, yeah, I never went over this in the um, <clears throat> in the first one, in the first thing we did. So I just wanted to take a look at it. We're on page eight though, and there's only six minutes left in this video, so we should probably do a little something. something. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. <laughs> Yikes. So scared. I'm lucky he didn't blow up the house. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. It feels weird to eat other people's clothes, but neither one. I 
once you get used to spawning, it's not so bad. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hello, motel room, so... No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Oh, too risky. He never found the key to this door. Hmm. I guess using the sliding door is cool. That's pretty good. Hmm. Oh yeah. He definitely cared for us. Police are investigating. Police are investigating a store invasion by the two Seattle runaways believed to be responsible for the death of a Seattle police officer in October. Hank Stamper owned a gas owner of a gas station on Highway 5 and a pillar of the community <clears throat> said he confronted the two brothers, Sean and Daniel Diaz, after he recognized him in his store. Stamper told the police that his brother uh, that, the, that the brothers escaped into the woods. Quote, they looked lost and adrift. I was only trying to help them as a father and a citizen. That guy sucks. Family recalls gentle officer killed in Seattle shooting. Oh boy, this is hard. Um, oof. Okay. Ashley Matthews, sister of the of officer Kindred Matthews, killed in a mysterious, controversial Seattle incident, left the two dead, has released a statement regarding the threats she received and online critics of the officer. My brother was a kind man. He was in the force for only six months and shouldn't have been alone in that day. On that day, my heart is with the Diaz family and all the victims of that terrible accident, including us. The police department needs better funding, so no police officer goes on patrol alone if their partner is sick or unavailable. Kendra dedicates, dedicated his life to helping others, especially children at risk of homes, and he always volunteered his time for charity. It's easy for people to judge and attack behind a keyboard, but just as we mourn for others, we mourn for the loss of a brave public servant. Hmm. Well, that was a lot. Sean, I'm a better writer than a speaker, so I'm writing this letter. Oh, okay. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. No excuse not to fit for you. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see. Hope Patient Center. Oh, wow. This is a reminder for your scheduled chemotherapy. Why we home center? Includes instructions. Oh. So he... Damn. Okay. Doesn't look like the dad's around anymore. Um, or if he is, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> Wait, is there not a talk to Daniel? I love that he gets to use his powers like that. Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last Yeah, time. for real, man. Also, is this the state of I like that picture of a duck. Is this the state of this guy's house when he died? Is this like really Sad. Um. Oh well. We're gonna get this. Oh wait, magazines. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. Yeah, this looks like the way he. The way he lived, which is a whole thing. <sighs> like it's the way we're living, but we're. Hey, Daniel. Dogs don't usually emote that much, but it makes sense for the audio thing. Okay. 
Why are you done? I am starving. Hey, he took his jacket off. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. <laughs> I could start Daniel's delivery service. You could do that, buddy. Okay, that brings us to the end of this part uh, one of episode two. These are really, the naming for this is hard, but, I, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us. Um, nothing bad happened in this one yet, so we're just going to leave this one. Um, I'll, I'll put warnings in the description for the chemotherapy stuff. But aside from that, uh, so far, so good. Right, I think. Okay, bye.